to my channel and welcome to today's video. I am finally filming Elliot's updated nursery tour, which is a video that I've been going on about wanting to film for ages, but I wanted to make sure everything was just finished and we have finally put all the finishing touches to his nursery. So um, if you didn't know already, before we had Elliot, we were unaware of what he was gonna be, if he was gonna be a little girl or a little boy. So I did film his like nursery reveal um, back when I was pregnant and it was basically just a very neutral um, as you can see from the yellow wall behind me we just went for yellow and white so that once he was here and we knew what we were having which was a little boy obviously and um, we could style it a little bit more um, accordingly so yeah now Elliot is six months old he is going to be sleeping in the nursery in the new year um, where say we're not going to put him in his own room until January just because we're not in any rush to get him out of our room but his nursery is now all ready for him I'm so happy with how it's turned out I have styled it around Peter Rabbit and it's still pretty neutral and I can't wait to share it with you so hopefully you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up if you do I'd also love it if you hit the subscribe button for more content like this and I'm going to get into his nursery tour now for you. So this is the nursery as you come in and we have now got a mirror on the wall just as you come in which we have sort of tactically put opposite Elliot's what well this will be his wardrobe eventually um, so we thought he could have his little getting ready area here and then there's a mirror just by the door of the bedroom so I'll start in this corner because this I have shown this on a previous video um, but I've updated it all in one go so this is his little shelf here by his wardrobe and um, we do now have a door handle on this because this didn't have a handle on it for ages so it's a little bit more complete now so this shelf here was a shelf that I bought from eBay I'll try link it below if I can find it still and the Elliot sign I have painted myself the yellow is the same yellow as the paint on his bedroom wall which is a crown one which I believe is called sunrise or something like that again I'll try and link it below for you um, and I really like the effect of this and um, so it was just like a wooden shelf and I have upcycled it it's got a little Peter Rabbit rattle and some cute little dandelion cloves here and this jiggly Peter Rabbit toy and a little hat um, so I really like this and then we have a <laughs> hug a pug bag at the bottom here because it's yellow and got pugs on it obviously and it's just got some blankets and stuff and um, that won't stay there but yeah I think that looks quite sweet this corner of the room one of his little um, hoodies that's a bit too big for him hanging on the door because that looks quite cute and then by his changing unit I have got this little wicker baskety thing with pom-poms on and that's full of all his like handmade cardigans and stuff and um, one of my customers actually crocheted him this gorgeous rainbow blanket which I really like and then hung up a little sign here that says follow your dreams because um, it's basically the same colour as the furniture so I really like that and then this is his changing unit. I won't go too much into detail about the furniture because I have spoken about it before, but it is the Marks and Spencer's Hastings Ivory changing unit and cot. I have done a whole video on how I organise this changing unit, so I'll link that if you're interested. Um, so yeah, these shelves here are new. They are from Ikea, and I have again painted them the same yellow as what is on the wall and I absolutely love how this looks um, so we've just got some of his reading books and stuff like that so I think that it looks really really cute styled with some old books new books Peter Rabbit definitely a Peter Rabbit theme in here um, and then these little booty slippery things I think they were next then there is just like a little heart photo frame with some of our um, family photo shoot pictures printed in that. The moon nightlight was from Not on the High Street. And then um, this little frame here with 
Elliot's name in it was actually a card that we got, like a personalised card when he was born, and I loved it so much that I have framed it. Um, it's just in, I think that's a Wilkinson's frame. Um, yep, and then I have hung up a couple of Elliot's like handmade knits and stuff like that because I just love how handmade baby clothes look in a in a nursery it just looks so cute um so basically the ikea shelves the two top ones are kind of like the right way up and then we flipped the bottom one upside down so that we could hang some things on it i've seen this on like this hack on instagram and stuff um yeah that's where i got the inspiration from that a little born in 2020 box at the bottom there um, my friend got us that as a little gift when he was born Then this is the yellow contrast wall. Um, basically, if you're new to my, like if you didn't know already, um, we didn't know what gender we were having when we had Elliot. So we basically styled the nursery really neutrally, um, just white and yellow. And then basically, since we knew that we had a little boy, I have kind of styled it around the theme of Peter Rabbit, as you can see. Um, and But I just, I just love the way it looks. Both these are from Hobbycraft. Um, I've got quite a few Peter Rabbit bits from Hobbycraft and I've hung them up with some clear command strips. Um, basically I didn't want to like nail the like or drill these into the wall because I mean they're not going to stay there forever but I really really like the way that this looks. Um, it looks super super cute um, and yeah it looks really nice with his shelves here as well. So this is what it looks like above his cot. Um, so yeah, it's the Hastings Ivory Cot and it then turns into a bed, which I thought is really good. Um, and then this mobile here, we actually picked this up from Facebook Market because um, we had another mobile, but when I started styling it around Peter Rabbit, I changed it up. Um, so yeah, it's just got little Peters hanging around it. And then we've got a couple of his My Hummy Bears in his cot, which we love. Um, it's basically white noise, which has been really successful with us in helping Elliot sleep. I will leave the review of those at the top of the screen if you're interested to hear more about that. Um, the blue cot sheet is from Dunnell. And then I think this like turquoisey green blanket is Silent Night. And then we've just got a few toys down the end. We've got a few Peter Rabbits, a lamb. And that was from Marks and Spencer's. One of my customers bought that for him. And then a little fox. And then we've got this absolutely beautiful knitted blanket. It's actually for a pram, but I think it's so beautiful that I've just draped along the edge of the cot there. And it's this beautiful lemony yellow, um, similar to the wall really. And then I have hung up some little fairy lights at the end of the bed and we also have his um, BT monitor hooked up to this um, flexi twist hook thing so it basically is so that you can keep an eye on him in the cot then at the bottom I've just got like a spare sleeping bag and another knitted oh no sorry it's crocheted actually another crocheted blanket um but yeah this is what the cot area looks like and in this corner i've got some more peter rabbit um boxes and then i've got a couple of his photo albums that again are from paper chase and um, there's just a little cushion that we got given with the picture of me announcing our pregnancy um i think oliver's auntie bought that for us so yeah, I'm not really sure what we're doing with this corner yet. Um, obviously, once Elia is actually using this room, it will be full of toys. But this is what the nursery looks like um, while he's not like sleeping in here. Um, the plan is that he's going to start sleeping in here in the new year. So yeah, it's basically now all lovely and ready for him. He does take some daytime naps like, in his cot. Um, and then the curtains were from Laura Ashley, which I think no longer exists, but they are literally like the most perfect match to the paint on the wall. And then I've got a beautiful blackout blind, which is a very similar blue to his Peter Rabbit colours, which is really handy. Um, so it's very coordinated. 
and it looks really nice with his yellow curtain and i've got to say on the windowsill we have got this photo frame that my friend got us born in 2020 again this picture was taken the first week which elliot came home or basically like the day after he came home because um, he spent five days in hospital um so yeah that's on the windowsill there and there's just some little peter rabbit slippers um, I try not to put too much on the windowsill. Another upcycled box in the same yellow paint. Um, that's basically got all bed sheets and stuff in it. And then again, I have kept one of his baby cards because I thought it was so beautiful. I think that was from my grandparents. Um, it's just like, welcome to the world, baby boy. Because um, the colours were literally perfect for this room. Um, like there's a bit of yellow and like baby blues. And then there's a picture of Elliot on the first day that we brought him home and there's just a couple of toys there so yeah that is what the nursery looks like I'm super happy with it I think that it is the perfect mix of like neutral but boy like you know it's perfect for a baby boy um, and obviously as he grows we will adapt it but yeah I just think that it's really beautiful um, it's not too boyish it's not too girlish um, it's sort of like a perfect blend but yeah i really like the peter rabbit theme um so yeah that is basically what his nursery looks like okay that is elliot's updated nursery tour as i said at the start of the video i am really really happy with how it's turned out this is literally once i knew it was a little boy this was kind of the vision that i had for it and we've just been waiting to add all the finishing touches to it so it's all ready to go for when he finally sleeps in here in his room in the new year um, he does actually take some daytime naps in here now so yeah i'm really excited for him to begin his little journey in his own room in the new year uh, and now it's all finished it's going to be so cozy for him so thank you so much for watching give the video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it hit the subscribe button all that good stuff and i'll see you again for another video bye